Hello, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for tuning in. May God bless you. I am happy that you're here. And there is a message that I want to share with you that the Lord has ministered unto me, has showed me via my dreams. And uh, this dream is about President Donald Trump. But before we start, let us just go in prayers and just give God all the glory. Father God, I thank you. Father God, I honor you. Father God, I lift your name on up on high. You're worthy to be praised. You're the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Thank you for you love us so much. Thank you for everybody that is watching this video, Lord Jesus. I ask that you touch their lives, Lord, that you use them mightily, Father God. Let the favor and the anointing and the power and the blessing of the Lord Jesus Christ be upon their lives, be upon the lives of the family, be upon their jobs, be upon everything that concerns them, Father. I cover them with the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let the blessing of God be upon their lives. Let the protection of God be upon their life. Father God, as I'm going to speak to them for what you have showed me, Lord Jesus Christ, let you be the one speaking through me, Spirit of the living God. Then I know I can do nothing by my own self. I depend on you and I rely on you, Lord Jesus. It is only by, by the Father, by the Son, and by the Holy Spirit that I can stand here before your children, before the body of Christ and speak to them. It is not by my own proof, by, um, strength or my, my anything, but it is only because of you. Lord, I want to praise you and to honor you. I lift your name on up on high in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. Let me just directly go to this dream. This dream I had on the 6th on, of February 2021. Um, I remember that that night I was just meditating and spending the time with the Lord and then I went to sleep. I had a lot of dreams via visions, but this is what I want to share with you, a part of it. And the part of it, it is like I dreamed this dream, which was so, this dream, it was so, when I was looking at this dream, it was so beautiful for me to see. I dreamed that. President Donald J. Trump, he was standing before the people of America. So this is this video is about the people in America. It's not about the whole world, but the people who are living in America. For my sisters and brothers and the people who are living in America, in the name of Jesus. In this dream, President Trump was just standing in a stage, in a stage, a big stage. I don't know, it was like it was outside. A big platform a big stage and he was standing there on a puppet something like that yes and as he was standing there there were so many people around him so many people multitude of people multitude of people so many people all kinds of, of, of race and people they were just standing before him and he was just speaking he was speaking to them and um, what I um, what I became, I, I heard what he speak to the people. He said, he was standing in front of the people of America and he was said, come to Jesus. He was telling the people, come to Jesus. He was calling America to come to Jesus. And I was like, I was, I was there, but I was like watching. I was not in the crowd of the people. I was there as a watcher. I was like somebody who is watching from outside. That is how the dream was via vision. I was just watching what is happening and he was telling the people of America, they were standing, he said, come to Jesus, come to Jesus. He was calling them, come to Jesus. And he was saying, come on my side, come on my side, come on the side of Jesus. And I was like, wow, Trump is calling the nation, the people of America into repentance to come to the true God to come to the side of God. And he was saying, I am standing in the side of the Lord. He said, when you come in this side where I am, you come to the side of Jesus. That is what exactly he said. When you come on my side, you are coming on the side of Jesus. And the people, they were just like looking and some were like a little bit moving and they were like, listening they were it, it was so quiet it was so quiet but it was like trump was giving the nation of america he was giving the people of america even the people of the body of christ who they live in america 
He was giving them a decision. If you come on this side, it is the side of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is what he said with his mouth. He was said, come to Jesus. So he was calling people to come on his side because on his side, it is the side of Jesus. That is what exactly I heard, what he was speaking to the people. And immediately in that dream, I knew, wow, there is something going on that is big and that is there is some secret that are going on in the spirit. As I woke up in the, from that dream, I just wrote it down very first because I know the Lord was telling me something. The Lord was telling me something. And if you look about what Trump has done in, in the time which he was president and he is still the chosen president, don't mistake that. Even if, even if Biden is now the president, but the true president, the chosen one, it is Donald J. Trump. That is what the Lord is saying. And the Lord, um, he has started speaking to me since last year. And the, the way the Lord is showing me things, they have not changed. He has not said, no, it's now it's Biden. No, he's saying he is the one, he is the chosen one. Until now, until today, until today is, today it is the, um, the 9th of February, but the Lord is still speaking concerning him. You really have to know it is not about Trump. My sisters and brothers in the Lord, saints in America, people of God in America, the body of Christ in America is not about Trump himself. It's about the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit is about the will of God to be done on earth as it is in heaven. But as you know, God is a spirit and he always used his servant to speak for him. He speak through his servants. He speak through human beings. He speaks through people. And as you carefully look, Trump is standing for the voiceless, for the unborn children. He is pro-life. Along that one, you have to know it is the side of the Lord. He don't want those children to be aborted, to be killed. Just think about it. It is not the will of the Father. It is not the will of God. And the blood of the innocent children, the blood of the unborn, are crying to the Lord day and night and they're asking for justice. They're asking for righteousness. They're asking for truth. The blood of the unborn is crying. The blood of the unborn is crying. And the Lord will look for somebody who will stand according to his will. It is not about Trump as a woman being. Please don't get that wrong. Don't take Trump and do him like he's a God. He is not. He's a woman being like me and you. But the Lord can use you or he can use me to establish his will on earth as it is in heaven. We are the vessel of the living God. We are the body of Christ. And if the Lord wants to do something on earth, he needs a body. He needs his children, his prophets. The body of Christ, that's why we have the body of Christ. Because in the body of Christ is where the Holy Spirit operates, is where the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, those things, what you want them to be established, they will be established and be manifested physically in this earth through the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. So don't go there and say it is about Trump. Trump is a normal human being. He has mistakes, he does things, he's not perfect. I am not perfect. Nobody is perfect except Jesus. But the Lord can use us. The Lord can choose us. Because when we stand on the will of the Lord, when we stand in the sight of the Lord, then we are for the Lord Jesus Christ. We are not against His will, His plan. Those children that have been killed in America, in the whole world, the blood of the innocent, of the unborn, of those of abortion, all, all those things, they're not of God. 
They are from the devil. They are not of God. And that blood is crying. That blood is crying. And as you know, God is a God of justice. God is a God of righteousness. Our God is a God of truth. And his will will surely be done or not as it is in heaven that the Father may be glorified in the Son, Jesus Christ. If there is something you're having in your heart, say, Lord, reveal to me what you're showing your children. Reveal to me the truth. And if let me just talk to, to any believer right now, to the body of Christ, to my sisters and brothers in Christ. Because there is, if you, you, you go in the sight of a past, maybe you, you voted for Biden. But the things that is standing on, the covenant that is standing on, is not a godly covenant, my brothers and sisters. It is not a covenant of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is not the things of God that have been done by this man. So as you have chosen him, you have entered in the same covenant that is operating in. The same spirit that is operating in. Let it be known unto you. And let it be a warning. Go to the Lord if you did not know. And the people who they voted for Trump, they voted for life. For Jesus. Because Jesus is life. They voted for life. As I see this dream clearly, he was calling the people of America, saints of America, come to repentance. Come out. Come out of the evilness that have been done in America. And choose Jesus. Choose the will of Jesus. Choose the will of the Father to be manifested or not as it is in heaven. Choose life. Choose life. Choose life. And if you have not done that before, you can just go to the Father and say, I'm sorry, Lord, I did not know what I was doing, even if you voted for, for, for Biden. I'm sorry, forgive me, I repent, and the Lord will forgive us, and he will wash you and cleanse you. We have a merciful God, and our Lord Jesus Christ, he died on the cross for us. And I know there is something is cooking in the spirit, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Saints of America, you have to believe this. Keep on praying. Keep in worship. Keep on reading the word of the Lord. Trust the one and only true God. He is mighty to be praised. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is the God of Elijah who answered by fire. And nothing is impossible unto him. Nothing is impossible unto him. And he is the God who has the perfect timing. As you are hearing, everything is coming out. The Lord is going to let everything to be exposed. Those things which are done in darkness are going to be exposed by the light of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let the anointing of God be upon you, my sisters and brothers, in the name of Jesus. There is a celebration that is coming. I am in the mood of celebration. Let me tell you. I am celebrating day and night. I am worshiping and praising the almighty God. Because there is no one who is like him. There is no king. There is no God. He is the Lord. He is Yahweh Adonai. He is Yeshua HaMashiach. He is the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. He bought us with a high price. And that is the blood and the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. That we may be joined back to him. And we are one spirit with him through his spirit. The Holy Spirit. I just want to encourage you. 
You can go yourself to your knees and ask the Lord what I'm saying, if it's true or not. Go and ask the Lord for yourself. Go and ask the Lord for yourself to reveal to you the things behind the scene. To reveal to you the secret thing, thing, things. The secret things of the darkness which are made in darkness that you cannot see. Let the Lord open our spiritual eyes that we may see what is going on. Let us not be de 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 deceived by the enemy. Open our spiritual eyes, Lord, that we may see. I just want to share this dream with you. And we are continuing in the marathon of faith and prayer. And the celebration is in the air. There is a lot of movement in the spirit, my brother and sister in the Lord. There is a lot of movement in the spirit. May God bless you, my brother and my sister in the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord keep you. Let the Lord reveal to you as you hear this message. Speak to him. Speak to him. Let the will of the Father, let the will of the Son and the Holy Spirit be manifested in your life and be done. I love you so much, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And I am so happy to see you next time by the will and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Be blessed. Remain blessed. And let the mighty hand of God be upon you. Let the protection of God be upon you. Let the power of God be upon you. I speak life and life in more abundantly. Receive the healing of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I love you all. May God bless you. May God keep you. Until next time, you're welcome to my channel, Warrior of Jesus. And you are a warrior also. So let us keep the, 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 the faith in, the, in our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I love you so much. Bye. Till next time.